Hi, I'm Khaled Hakim. I'm an operations architect in VMware's global operation transformation practice. In a recent VMware webinar, about 75% of the IT decision makers joining from around the world indicated in an online poll that challenge number one in a modern IT financial management was the lack of understanding of the true cost of IT services. Specifically, their top challenges included random service cost allocation, arbitrary cost cutting decisions, and a perception that IT is expensive. One less obvious challenge, the poll also indicated, lack of visibility into IT costs can slow down your IT transformation initiative. The fact is, transforming your technology from traditional virtualization into more agile and self-service cloud computing environment requires some IT business and service operation improvements as well. So as a private cloud service owner, ask yourself, are you involved in managing the service financials? Do you have a clear definition and cost structure for every subservice that your team manages? Is your current cost model based on services and your costs are organized around the private cloud services you offer? Can you defend the numbers? If your answer is yes to these questions, then congratulations. You are a member of a small minority of enterprise IT departments with an effective service costing process and modern business-oriented service owner? If not, ask yourself the next logical question. What can I do to run my private cloud offering like a business? Well, first of all, you will have to think like a business owner whose mindset is all about products and services, sales and marketing, demand and consumption, and financial management. Why not to apply this same business discipline when delivering your private cloud services? Let me share some basic steps that you need to jumpstart your business acumen and deliver your IT services like a business. Get the help and guidance of your IT financial manager to build your draft service-based cost model and identify all your infrastructure as a service related cost elements all the way from general ledger and all other data sources to business units and consumers. Once your service-based cost model is defined, you can begin to develop your service-to-service -service and service-to-consumer cost allocation strategy. Then you will classify your service cost elements to help you understand the cost behavior and make informed decisions. And as a service owner, you will also need to identify the services you will offer, preferably in a service catalog, and define each one along with how you want it to be unitized, packaged, and offered to your consumers. Then update your service-based cost model accordingly. Another requirement is to cost out the unit of each and every service you deliver based on your cost allocation strategies and key stakeholder inputs. You must also track, adjust, and manage the ongoing cost changes and the dynamic nature of your private cloud growth periodically. Finally, promote the consumption and create the demand for your services and market your private cloud services to both your stakeholders and your end consumers to accelerate the value realization. As more businesses recognize the integral role of IT plays in the overall success of the enterprise, business stakeholders have a higher expectations of IT's performance and its ability to show its value. The ability to quickly re-engineer your cost model to align to one that is service-oriented and customer-centric is one of the first steps in your IT transformation journey. To learn more about VMware technology solutions, and the service costing process, please reach out to your VMware representative. We look forward to working with you on your IT transformation journey.